Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today I have Megan from the Gut Gazette with me and we are going to be making gluten-free rice paper rolls. So we're here in the kitchen today with Megan from the Gut Gazette and we're talking about fresh summer recipes and what could be more summery than our gluten-free rice paper rolls. So Megan, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about why you started the Gut Gazette? Well, I started the Gut Gazette as a self-help blog when I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Um, and then I became gluten-free and I wanted to kind of change it so it's a gluten-free living blog. I love recipes, I love product reviews, so Fantastic. I wanted to share that with everyone. Yeah. Now, do you have any favorite products you want to talk about quickly? I love Udi's. They make the best bread, best buns. I love their cinnamon rolls. Oh, yeah, so good. <laughs> They're delicious. Now, you were telling me that you live at home, so how does your family feel about going gluten-free? It's not that hard, actually, because um, Recipes like these rice paper rolls, they're naturally gluten-free, so a lot of foods are naturally gluten-free and we just kind of adjust to that. That's fantastic. So why don't you tell us a little bit about these rice paper rolls and what we're putting them in them today, because this looks so bright and colorful. Okay, so we have a few ingredients. We have mango, chicken, cucumber, red peppers, sprouts, and lettuce. Wonderful. And we can combine them in the rice paper roll. Kind of a do-it-yourself. Yeah, you That's can put whatever you festivity. want in. Mm -hmm. Love that. And so we've got our rice paper, obviously. Yeah. And then you have a special dipping sauce for us today. So what goes into that? Yeah. Well, I like to put a bit of gluten-free tamari, soy sauce in it, um, honey, and I like to put balsamic vinegar in it as well. Ooh. And I don't really have a ratio. It's just a taste and test. See what you like. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now, the tamari is a really interesting one for you, obviously, because, mm -hmm. you know, sushi is such a favorite yeah. of all us Torontonians, but going out, you can't have soy sauce. Yeah, I know. I always joke around saying I'll bring a little soy sauce in my purse, but uh, <laughs> I never get around to doing that. So when I go have sushi with my friends, I just eat it without the soy sauce. Well, good tip for anyone yeah. out there that's gluten-free and looking um, for a great substitution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to get started on these rolls because I am starving and Me they too. look amazing. So what is our first step here? Okay, well the first step is getting the oh, water get out. Your way. Okay, perfect. Now, we have a large circular dish here. How much water do we need? You just need about a couple inches. Okay, and, and is this what temperature? It's um, it's a little bit on the cold side, okay. a little lukewarm. It says warm on the package, but I find that they stick together if you put more than one of the rice papers in. Oh, good tip. Yeah. I love that. Mine always stick together. Yeah, <laughs> I know. They're very delicate. So when you take it out of the package, it's brittle and you can't roll it up. So you have to let it soak in the water. Up. Yeah, we yeah, well, we let, let that, that soften. soften. Why don't you make us that amazing sounding dipping sauce? Okay. So I've got your little vessel here. Awesome, thank you. We have the balsamic vinegar here. I like to put the honey in first because it's the hardest to kind of like warm up and stir around with all the other ingredients. Very true. I like to put about a teaspoon of honey in and then about probably two tablespoons of the balsamic. Perfect. And two tablespoons of the tamari. So you get a bit of a sweet taste with the honey. It's almost like dim sum when you combine the soy sauce yeah. with the vinegar. Mm -hmm. I love that. Now you can use any kind of dipping sauce for these rice paper rolls. I even like a sweet chili Thai. Ooh, yeah. so good. Yeah, but this is one of my favorites. It's my mom's favorite. Oh, good. She loves these rice paper wraps. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so just want to delicately take it out because it is very flimsy as you can see. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a few holes in this one does take a little bit of trial and error with these rice paper. Perfect. So now we have a towel and we just lay it on the towel and then just Oh, that's dry smart. It off. That helps prevent it from being too slippery. Yeah, It'll exactly. Stick more. I and it that. does uh, roll better when it's a bit dry. Okay. So now that it's dry, we can put any of the ingredients we want to combine. You pick. Combine. The first one's yours. Okay. I love mango. I love it in the summer. So I'm going to put a little bit of mango in, and you just put it in the middle of the rice paper wrap. Um, you don't want to put it too close to the edges either, so leave about an inch and a half on each side. Okay. And no like, exploding rice paper rolls No, we today. don't want them to explode. <laughs> Surprisingly, these fill you up too. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. And I'll put some sprouts. Maybe Love a little it. bit of green to 
give us some color. Okay, so when you're rolling these, I like to start with the outside edges first. Okay. You just roll them in a little bit. So just kind of fold them over the yeah, ingredients fold them in the over. middle. Perfect. And then I like to look for the uglier side of the rice paper <laughs> We definitely wrap. have one this here. This one's a little ripped. <laughs> so you kind of want to just pull it in and then tightly wrap it up. Oh, and it's even covering our tear. Yeah, exactly. So now it looks perfect because we don't have any tears. That's so yeah. nice. I love that. And you can dip That's it in. That's totally beautiful. All right, mm. you have to try it. Okay. That just looks too good. Try it. Try not to make a mess, but I don't think that's that okay. We like messes on the hot plate. We're used to it. Mm. It's good. Now you have to be our official taste tester. You have to describe the flavor for us. We need to know what delicious gluten-free things are in there. It's very crunchy with the raw vegetables. Mm. And the raw vegetables makes it easier and quicker. Much more summery mm. too. That's amazing. Yeah, and the, you can taste the chicken and the mango is very sweet. And the rice paper wrap is pretty a, a bland flavor. Yeah. So with Good the dip, the it dipping takes sauce. it. The next Perfect. level. Well, thank you so much, Megan, for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. You're it was a blast. so welcome. So you can check out Megan's gluten-free lifestyle on the Gut Gazette, and you can follow the rest of the Hot Plate's gluten-free adventure this July on thehotplate.com, and all of our updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com/slash thehotplate.